Hiya, I'm Kylie, an incoming freshman at MIT from this weird state called Idaho. Small town girl, actually big city girl at heart. Now, what does it take to exactly get into an awesome university like MIT? Well, I'm here to tell you. It takes three steps, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. First step is academics. Keep up your grades, your class standing, AP tests, SAT tests, ACT tests, all those standardized tests. And maybe take a look into bigger tests. Like if you're into STEM, there are international um, tests that you can take called the um, Science Olympiads. Like there's the Physics Olympiad, Bio Olympiad, Chemistry Olympiad, Math Olympiad, all of those crazy things. There are a ton of them. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, that would be look worth looking into. However, academics is only one of the things that you have to do. It's basically the bare minimum because everybody who's going to apply to schools like Harvard or Stanford is going to have amazing academics. So you need to do more to make yourself stand out because academics is basically only to prove that you can actually handle the co course load of a university like Harvard or Stanford. So the second thing that, I'm, um, that I have on my list of things to tell you guys is that you have to make yourself stand out by showing um, the impact that you can have on the world around you. So for example, it doesn't have to be the world exactly. It could be your state, or it could be your family, and community, um, any sort of personal world that you have. And once that you show that you have that impact, you're gonna write about it in your college essays. That's where you're going to show it. So when you write your college essays, make sure you emphasize the impact that you had on that personal world of yours. In my small town, Idaho, middle of nowhere, <laughs> we have a community college. And at this community college, there's an observatory. But the thing is at this observatory, they haven't done much scientific research. And I was really interested in that. So I set up this project in scientific research, specifically astronomy, because it was an observatory. And um, that was something new, innovative. And so that kind of showed them that I was able to um, create things for myself be proactive and at the same time affecting my community and starting this um, this basis for scientific research and such. But for now let's move on to number three. So number three, the universities want to see a personal improvement. They want to do they want to see you change in somehow for the better. And so this could be something like you were bullied in the past. How did you get over that? What did you learn from that? How did you overcome the challenges that you faced in your life? That kind of thing. So for me, I wrote about how I used to be um, a really good gymnast. I did gymnastics for many years, but at the beginning it was very hard because I was the only Asian girl on the team. And so they liked to make fun of me for that. Being in a 90% Caucasian community, I really stood out as an Asian. And so I wrote about how I overcame that, what I learned from it, how I applied that to other things in my life. And of course, this is also going to be written in your essays. So make sure that you balance the um, number two, the one about how you can make an impact on your world, with this number three, the personal changes and improvements that you have made in your past four years in high school. So these are the, those are the three things that um, I plan to tell you guys. Number one, to keep up your academics as a basis for your application. Number two, to show the impact that you can have on your personal world, um, whatever level it may be. And number three, to show some sort of personal improvement. But aside from that, don't just think that if you do those things, you can get in. It's much more difficult than that. You have to do as much as you can to stand out. So besides from those things, I did a lot more things um, to add to my application like I have found a business with my brother um, I published a novel those kinds of things and you just want to try and do the things that'll make you seem like you're a go-getter you can do things that and if you are one that kind of person then you'll already be doing those kinds of things so it shouldn't be that difficult <laughs> see you guys later and thanks for checking in bye